Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Fat Julie where I share tips and tricks in the kitchen as well as quick and easy recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pizza wheel. This is awesome as an appetizer or a snack for your kids. I'm not going to put a whole lot of toppings on this today because it's just going to be an appetizer. But I will show you how to do it and make sure you don't put too many toppings on it because they will fall out as you are twisting it together and when it bakes it will just all stick together like one giant pizza and that's not the point of this. So for the purpose of time I've taken a pre-made sauce which I've added some garlic to and some herbs and spices, salt, pepper and so on and I'm going to spread that over my crust. I'm going to go all the way to the edges, but I'm not going to make it really, really thick on the edges. I just want it there to help stick the two crusts together. For today's pizza wheel, I'm just going to add on some shredded cheese. And some olives. A few olives that I have already pitted and cut up. Okay, so for today, that's all I'm going to put on it. Sometimes I'll put on some sandwich meat or some different kinds of cheese or, or whatever it may be. But I'm really just looking for an appetizer today. So I'm going to take my other crust. And I'm just going to lay that on top. Which I never seem to do perfectly. That's okay. We'll just pull it over. And there you go. Mine is actually lying on top of a cutting board. I know you can only see the wax paper. That's because I'm going to throw it in the oven on the wax paper. But there is a cutting board underneath. Now I'm going to take a glass or something circular. And I'm going to do the best that I can to figure out where the middle is. And I'm just going to let that sit on top of there as lightly as I possibly can. We are not actually going to cut the circle that is covered by the glass, but we're going to use it to make our cuts around. So because I'm a bit crazy and I like things really, really even, I cut mine like this. But if you don't care, you can just start going around and cutting your pieces. Okay, so I'm going to cut these pieces in half one more time. I don't want the bottom pieces around the circle to be too thin, but I can't have them too thick either, or I'm not going to be able to twist them. Okay, so I've made my cuts. I do have a little bit of tomato sauce leaking out of the sides. That's okay, I'm gonna clean that up later. At this point, I can gently remove my glass or whatever I'm using to create my circle. And you can see the cuts that are now around my circle. Here's the part that gets really difficult if you filled it with a lot of toppings. I'm going to pick up a piece, very gently, trying to hold it all together as I do this, and I'm going to twist it twice. Now, if you find that you can't do this because you try to stuff a lot of toppings in there, just twist it once. It will still look cool. And then I'm just going to go around my pizza wheel and twist each piece very carefully and gently, trying to keep the toppings inside until I get back to where I started. At this point you have two choices to try and keep the ends together. You can either pick up two pieces and pinch each side together with your fingers so that each piece is pinched together where they meet. I've tried that and although it looks prettier, uh, it's not as easy to pull apart. So I just take a fork 
and I press down the ends as I would a pie. And I go right around. Don't worry if when you were twisting it you got some tomato sauce on it. No one's going to notice that but you. So I'm going to go all the way around and then I'm going to pop that into my preheated oven. Just take a look at how long and at what temperature your pizza crust says to cook it at and give it a shot at that temperature. It might take a bit longer because you have two crusts, so just keep an eye on it. And once you're done, you can brush an egg wash over top of it if you like. Uh, I'm not going to because, to be honest, I've had a really long, hard day and I just want this to go quickly. I also still have dinner to make. So once I'm done, I'm going to pop it in the oven and I will show you what it looked like when it comes out. Right out of the oven. So just let it cool off for a few minutes and then serve it. Bon appétit.